Hey guys, Benton up here. As December comes to a close, I find that there's a lot of things that I didn't do this year that I really wanted to get done. So, I'm making a Prepper's New Year's resolution. There's 10 items that I will complete in 2013, barring the end of the world in a couple weeks, that I'm going to hold myself accountable to you all for. So here goes my list. I have all of these IBC totes sitting here on this hillside in my backyard and I have about half of the materials I'm going to need to set up a rain gutter system. I have this roof line here and that roof line there that I can link all into uh, one system for all of that water. So I will get this rain catchment system completed this year. Number two would be to store more food. We have some in the garage and some in here, but I would like to get all of these shelves completely full from uh, maybe some of the number 10 cans from the cannery in a town close to me. I just need to save up some cash to make that one happen, but I'd like to, I'd feel more comfortable if all of this here was completely full and all the shelves in the garage were. Number three would be to do more canning. And I found out that these canning jars fit perfectly in these Avon boxes. And they're light enough to carry around, so uh, that's what we've been storing all of our canned stuff in. But the thing that really I want to work on is canning meat. Canning meat scares me. Um, I just, I mean, I look at this. This is spaghetti and meatballs uh, with sauce in there that we canned. Um, I don't know, probably about eight months ago. And I just look at it and I don't, I don't trust it. I don't trust canning meat. Um, so I just need to, to jump off the cliff on this one and just start doing it. But something about this and it just looks like that would be death. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just going to have to do more, try more, and actually maybe taste it and see if it is good or not. Um, but canning and canning meat is definitely high on my list of things to do next year. Number four is to get some solar and wind systems. This roof line here gets pretty good afternoon evening sun and the other side of the garage roof gets pretty much sun all day. And it costs a lot to do, but that is one of the things that I want to kind of piece together this year or next year. Number five on my list is to learn to hunt slash fish. Um, I know the ideas behind them. I know the basics behind them. I've never been hunting um, mostly because I don't want to clean or process the animal. Um, I just want to shoot it and then have it on my plate. Um, I know that there's places out there that'll do all the cleaning and stuff for you and cut it up and everything. Um, it just costs almost the same as it would by going to Safeway and buying, you know, the meat right there. So... My buddy's going to take me out hunting next year. Um, he, I promised him that I would finally go. And we'll go hunting. And, and he said that uh, he will do all the cleaning and cutting and everything for me for half of whatever it is that I take. So um, that is a deal that I'm okay with. So next year we're going to see a few hunting videos on here. Fishing. I've been fishing a couple times. Um, never really caught anything except for once. And when I pulled it up, it had a big round face with like warts all over it. It growled at me and jumped off the hook. And that's when I was done with fishing. But I'm going to go out with my buddy this year and we're going to uh, make my next attempt at fishing. Number six on my list would have to be get a ham radio and a license. I've looked at some of the practice tests for these things for the license. And I have to tell you that 
most of it is okay. I can deal with most of it. But when it gets to the electronics about it, and resistors and ohms and all kinds of weird stuff, my eyes just kind of cross. I, 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 I can't wrap my head around all of that, I guess, in one shot. So, um, I guess I'm going to start looking for a class to take. <laughs> so I can be able to pass the license for it and then get a ham radio. Number seven on my list is to get a bug out plan. I have no idea what we would do if we had to leave. Um, and I have a couple ideas, but uh, I didn't really think about it until I was watching a video on YouTube, a scenario video from um, Full Spectrum. And they did a video about what would you do if you had to leave in 10 minutes. If the government said, get out right now, what would you do? I started thinking about these IBC totes that I have in the backyard here. And I don't need all of that for my own water. So I could take two of these, get enough of the parts that I would need to make a rain catchment system. Cut them up into the right sizes to where they could fit inside of the totes. Then I could fill the rest of those totes with all of the prepping supplies that I could think of. Clothing, uh, pillows, blankets, food. Um, I mean, just anything that I could. Because that's a lot of storage. And it's watertight. And it's airtight. And I could keep that stored, always stocked, sitting in the garage on this trailer. And then I could, all I would have to do is hook it up to the back of the Explorer and be gone. I would have fuel cams in there, have everything I could think of, just loaded up in there all the time. So I definitely am thinking about doing that. And then we would probably take off, if we could, to uh, that homestead that I showed you guys in one of the videos from my friends in Eastern Washington. They have a lot of property out there and not too much human traffic. So uh, I think that would be a good place to take off to, at least for right now. That's my best option that I have. Number eight is grow the majority of my own food. Um, this one I'm kind of excited about because this section of the garden has been getting ready for a while. And the other side of that fence line and the front yard are all set to... Um, go for spring and I'm going to have a lot of food production out of that so I'm kind of excited and I just kind of noticed that wow these raspberry, raspberry plants have kind of gotten a little bit bigger number nine is to insert chickens here um, I think February we're going we're planning on uh, placing our order so we can get the chicks so spring comes and we can stick them out here they'll be big enough for that and start producing probably by fall so that is number nine on my list right here real close to the chicken coop just along this wall i want to do my number 10 which is to build a rabbit cage and get some rabbits and i think that'd be a perfect spot for them keep all the food and water and everything close to the chicken so I don't have to keep moving it all over the place and get four males four females and just kind of keep them separate until well I need them so there's my list 10 things I want to do in 2013 uh, definitely watch out for videos about everything on this list and start thinking about uh, what you want to accomplish in 2013. That's all I have for right now. As always, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next video.